In the previous episode, we explored how to open a model view in SwiftUI using TCA features, and also how to debug state changes in TCA to identify bugs in our logic. In this video, we will continue building the card list view with data. However, before starting, let me point out that there will be a lot of preparation before the main topic. If you prefer to jump directly to that, go straight to this minute in the video. If you prefer to follow me step by step, that's even better. To get started, let's see what is the UI we want to achieve. We want to open the card list item as a model and display the selected items in product list. There are many things in this screen already, like this delete button on each cell or the pay button. But don't worry about that for now. In this video, we will only show the list of selected products. We will work on that in the next one. All right, let's focus on card list cell first. It is displaying the product information and the quantity selected by the user. Let's create a model for card item. And a sample to use in previews like we did for products. Let's now create the domain for card item. This is the state that will hold the car item we just created. For action in home, we will leave it empty for now. That's it for car item domain. Now let's create car list domain. This will hold the list of car item states. Let's use identified array as we saw in the for each store episode. We need to make this car item state identifiable. And to do that, let's add UUID to the definition. Now, what should be the actions in card list view? We can see that we need an action to close the card and another one to represent each car item in the list. Definitely, we will add more actions soon, but let's move forward for now. Let's leave environment empty too and jump to the reducer. Let's use combine to transform a list of car item domain reducers into one compatible for card list domain and provide a switch with the current actions so far. For did press close button, we won't do anything. And I will explain the reason in just a moment. And for car item action, nothing right now. Okay, now let's build the UI starting from card cell. Let's add an async image to load the product's image and a placeholder while it is loading. Now let's add title and description. I will use a custom font like we did for product cell. And finally, let's add quantity. There you go. However, preview image will load forever because the URL provided is not a URL actually. Let's fix that, adding any URL that contains an image. Very good. Now let's jump to card list view. We had to do a transformation for the preview because we need to provide an identified array of car item domain states and we simply create a mapping to generate them from the car item sample. Actually, we have to copy and paste this store in product list view for now to keep the success on compilation. And let's fix that issue in product list cell. The images are not loading anymore because we used to use local images. Let's replace this image with async image. There you go. Now let's go back to card list view and add a list with for each store to invoke all car items available in the domain. We immediately can see that review is working showing the sample list. Now we need a way to close the card. Let's add a navigation bar and add a button at the left side. But before that, let me add one more font that I forgot. Very nice. Now we need to invoke the action that will close the model. Let's send the press close button to the view store. 
everything is finally set for card list and card cell. Now the remaining work is to invoke card list view from product list. Let's jump to product list domain. It's here where we will manage the open and close actions because card list view is a model view and it depends of a parent view, which in this case is product list view. That means product list domain should hold the state for card list. Now, what is the right moment to initialize the card list with actual data? That's when we open the card, of course. But in terms of code, this is happening when should open card is equal to true, which is right here. We have to initialize card list state with the collection of selected products. But where are those products? Of course, you will find them in product list state, but we need to transform them into card item objects first. Let's do that. We have created an identified array from product list and we map each value to transform it into car items from car item domain dot state. That's cool, but this will include all the available products and we only want the selected ones. Or in other words, those having add to car state count greater than zero. To filter them, we can simply compare the count and for those equal to zero, create a nil value. And now we need to use compact map instead of map. Compact map will remove the nil values from the collection. This is a nice trick that you can use later in other projects. This is cool, but if you allow me, let me create a computer property for count value in product domain to remove the add to card state prefix. Now let's add car list reducer to its parent reducer, which is product list reducer. In order to do that, let's create a dedicated action case to represent all the actions from car list domain. Now let's combine car list reducer using pullback. And let's add car action in the parent reducer. As we did earlier, we have created one action to identify when car list has to be closed. And I said that this action should do nothing on car list reducer, right? Well, that's because product list domain will manage that. And that makes sense because product list is the parent of this card list. It's expected to be invoked from here. And the way to identify when car is open is by set car view action. But at the same time, we can get actions from subdomains and do additional work in consequence. This is known as side effects and TCA got great tools to manage it. But for now, let's keep going. We will cover side effects in detail in the next episode. Back to the press close button action, what should happen here? Close the model, of course. That means setting should open card equal to false. It's that simple. This operation will close card list model. Finally, let's update card list view to provide the right stored data from product list view. Let's use scope for that. Voila, card list view is showing the selected items and close button is working too, very nice. However, something is not fully right. Look at the code that we got already. Can you see any problem there? This is tricky to be honest, but the problem is not about what the user is seeing, but internally. Let's go to product list again and see the state. We just added card state, but think about it. 
do we need to initialize it from the beginning when this is only required once we open the card list? Wouldn't it be great to just initialize it at a very specific moments? That will help us to save a lot of memory. Maybe this demo is too short for worrying about memory. But think about a real and complex app. Models will be everywhere and having states when they are not required is a waste of resources. Well, guess what? TCA provides a way to optionally initialize a state. Let's see that. First, let's make a card state optional. This will produce a few errors because pullback is not expecting an optional value. But to fix this, we can simply use optional operator from TCA in card list domain reducer. Optional operator will transform this reducer into an optional one and only running card list domain reducer when it is not nil. It will be nil when card list view is not open. Otherwise, we will initialize the collection of card items. And speaking of that, let's fix this one. Instead of initializing card items, let's initialize the whole card state only when it's presented is true. Finally, we have to fix the issue from product list view. For this case, we have to manage which view should be rendered when card list state is nil. TCA provides a great tool for that. Let's use if let store. If let store is just a wrapper view that will display a view if your state is not nil and another one for nil cases. For this demo, let's use the version without else closure. Now let's call scope directly in the parameter. That's it. Now if let store will provide the not nil state if available in the closure. In that way, we can simply call card list view and provide the right store for it. Look how Cardlets is working as before, but now is more efficient. If we run the app, we can see that card state is nil when we close the model. This is the right proof that what we did is right. Optional states are really useful for situations where your state is not fully required all the time. That's it for this video. In the next one, we will talk more about side effects and add the delete button to each car item cell. Check out more Swift and TCA content in the description below. And remember, my name is Pete and this, this is Swift and Tips. Thanks for watching and have a great day.